Hey everyone, if you're watching my last video, welcome back. If you're not, I'm gonna quickly recap what happened. Right now in our network, we have three OSPF, I mean, sorry, three BGP ASs. So we have our inside network, which is our corporate network, which is going to be AS16. We have eight, which is an AS8, seven, AS7. So far, we've configured an eBGP peering here, an eBGP peering here, and then an iBGP peering here. Now, what we're going to look at this video is how BGP processes the next hop value. So, what we'll do is R6 and R7 are both advertising their loopbacks into BGP. So what we're going to do first is let's take a look at the route from 6, which gets advertised to 7, which then 7 advertised to 8. And let's take a look at what the next hop value is. So we could take a look at 7, and we see that we're learning the loopback from 6, with the next hop value of 100676, which is this outside link on six. So that is six, makes sense. Let's go to eight. On eight, we're learning it, but this time the next hop value is router seven, which again makes sense because in order for eight to get to six, it needs to go to seven. Okay, great. What about what about the other one? So let's get rid of. So now let's take a look at how, and actually let me make this a little bit cleaner. Let's just get rid of that. R7's loopback is being advertised to six. And on six, we could see the next top is 10.067.7 which makes sense again that's this interface right here now as six takes that link and advertises it to five let's take a look at what the next top is so let's head over to five and we actually already have it on but let me show ip bgp um what what happened to my neighbor relationships Oh, my neighbor relationship actually went down because R5, R5 is configured to have the neighbor at 6.6.6.6, show IP route. I don't actually know it, and that's because I need to go here, comp T, int loopback 0, IP OSPF 1. Okay, I forgot to... There we go. Okay, so now we, we learned it. Now we can do a show IP BGP. Okay, so back to the matter at hand. On R6, we learned 7's loopback with the next hop of 7. Makes sense. R5, we learned 7, but with the next hop of 7, and we, will, we notice what we don't see. We don't see that the route is best. Therefore, it doesn't get installed into the routing table. So this is something important to know with IBGP versus EBGP. EBGP by default will change the next hop to itself, which we saw. Seven, when it advertised the route to eight, it changed the next hop to itself. But with IBGP, it does not change the next hop to itself. It keeps the next hop value. Now, there are a number of different ways to solve this. Um, we could, for instance, go to R6 and actually advertise this link into OSPF. So let's go uh, comp t int gig 167. So we could add that link. And then if we go to five, uh, let's do show IPBGP. 
So it's learning that. Let's see if it has a show IP route for 10.0.67.7. It does. Okay, so now we have a valid invest. So adding that link into the IGP is an option. Um, not something you'd probably want to do. You know, we probably don't want to run OSBF on our link that are, you know, our uplink to the provider. So let's go ahead and take that out. Okay, so we could obviously go to R5 and do a static route. Um, doesn't make much sense though. Instead, what let's do is let's go to R6. Um, and the reason I say let's not do a static route is because once we start getting more routes from OSBF, eh, it's gonna be a giant administrative burden to do static routing everywhere um, for each possible prefix. So instead, let's go to ConfT. Let's go to router BGP 16. And now our neighbor of 5.5.5.5. Next top, self. Now, what does this command do? Well, let's go over to R5. Now, we're still valid and best. Well, we... We were valid and best when I did OSPF, but um, we went to be <laughs> valid, but not best. Now we're valid and best again, but we see now that the next top is 6.6.6.6. .6 so now we could do a show IP route BGP, and now we see that the network is in the table. So the next top self overcomes this issue. Um, the other thing we can do is let's go ahead and configure another IBGP link. Um, this time, let's do two to five. And what we're going to do is we're going to show again how IBGP works, but this time we're going to do IBGP to IBGP, I mean, IBGP to IBGP. So that might have sounded a little complicated, but it's, it's, it's really not. Um, let's go to five and router BGP 16. Let's do a neighbor two. We're gonna do the update source of loopback zero. Um, neighbor, sorry, I actually forgot. Uh, remote AS 16. There's the update source. Let's go to two. Sixteen. Update source loopback zero. Okay. So Something that's a little bit different is with IBGP, now next hop processing isn't even an issue. So now we can see that R6 is taking its routes and it is advertising them to five because if we go to five, show IP BGP, we're learning them. But now on R2, we're not, uh, sorry, let me to go over to R2, show IP BGP. We're not receiving any routes at all. Well, that's because by default, in a router or a BGP router will not advertise routes learned from an IBGP peer to another IBGP peer. IBGP peer. So I'm going to make another video where we go over ways to overcome this. Whoops, I didn't mean to make that line. Uh, we go over ways to overcome this, but this is a, a default setting with IBGP. So I'm going to stop the video here, and on the next video, we're going to we're going to go over IBGP um, uh, full mesh and route reflectors.